Hi there, just want to do a quick overview of the current state of Linux on the Lenovo Legion Go. Um, now just to say in advance, the, the Legion Go came out two days ago, so it's very, very early on. So there hasn't, um, there hasn't been much chance for any bug fixes or um, things to be uh, fixed up by developers. So, you know, just know that this is more of a quick look, not really like saying that this is the final state of things with Linux on the um, Legion Go. So if we go into the system info, I'm running the unstable Chimera OS version. So, which means there's still changes being made, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but from here, you could see the deck UI and it looks a little different because I'm actually loading up some, um, some decky loader plugins. So if I go back here, you can see our decky loader plugins like the CSS loader, um, et cetera, et cetera. So it's all here. There's that. In terms of hardware that's working, the typical Xbox controller buttons work, like the A, B, X, Y, the control sticks, um, control pad, etc. Um, start select is all working, but none of the back buttons work. And the Legion space button and the quick access menu button also do not work. Um, I did a workaround where this is not part of the OS. This is something I did on my own, but I mapped the scroll wheel to map to the home and the quick access menu. So it's a workaround that works, but it's not really ideal because um, what it because it does something where you go into the settings and go into controllers, it creates a duplicate controller, um, Xbox controller. So this is not a workaround that is re I'd really recommend, but it's possible to get something functional. In term, now let's go on and move on to, let's say emulation. So if we go to uh, the library, non-Steam games, I use emudeck to load up a bunch of emulators and some emulated games. So I can pull up like Wind Waker and we could just play it. As you can see, we're in the game and it seems it's working fine. So one thing I wanted to show here, uh oh, uh, maybe I should get back to shore first, but basically I wanted to show here that Suspend resume work, so let's first get back to shore. And then let's just tap the power button to suspend. So this part's glitchy, where during the suspend, it makes weird noises like that. So um, there's that, but now you can see it's suspended. If I press it again, it should come right back. And now it's, let me input my pin real quick. And you can see we're back. Um, note that during suspend resume, the controller sometimes takes a moment for to reconnect, so it not, might not immediately reconnect. Other thing to show here is that they work detached, so let me detach the controls real quick. So give it a moment to connect. Right now it's still connecting, but if we give it a moment, it'll, it'll connect. There we go. So you can now see that it's connected and fully working. But if you suspend with them detached, when you turn the device back on, the controllers won't back, turn back on. And I don't have a way, I don't know if there's a way to trigger the controllers to turn on while they're detached. So you have to reconnect it to get it to work again. So just know that with suspend resume, that's one of the, the, the issues with the detached controllers. Also, even though I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it here, I could turn on FPS mode. So if I click this, it turns into a mouse. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it right now. Uh, yeah, maybe you, you can't see it in the game. Let me exit the game. Let me exit the game first. So you can see here, I have the FPS mode switched. And surprisingly, you should be able to see a mouse cursor. You can see it right there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, where you can see the mouse cursor moving. So FPS mode surprisingly works. Now, I don't know of a way to remap the buttons while in FPS mode, but it does, act it does actually at least show up as a mouse and key uh, keyboard in the actual for the actual, uh, to the actual console. But yeah, let's see, is there anything else I need to cover here? Um, yes, so here in the TDP, there's a TDP control plugin, but currently it doesn't seem to be working. So if I, even if I dial this down really low or really high, it doesn't affect the performance of games. So most likely the plugin needs to be updated for the Legion Go. And I don't know when the developers will update it, but it's something to keep in mind. The functional TDP control might not be available on Chimera OS right now. Mm, but besides that, that's really it. Um, things have been, it's been interesting for a device that came out just two days, two days ago. It's working surprisingly well. Anyways, that's it.